guys, so I finally managed to get out of the house and I'm here with Kabina. Hello! <laughs> so she has her own YouTube channel as well. Uh, she makes some videos about her life here in Finland and her YouTube channel is Indian in Finland. Yeah. So um, if you're trying to move to Finland or understand more about life here in Finland, go make sure to check out her channel. <laughs> Super excited first of all to be here for a collaboration collaborative video. Uh, we are here with some tight budget that uh, she gave to me actually. <laughs> yes, so details about that are coming from her and then we tell you what we are doing gonna do here today. from doing a quick grocery haul so I bought the ingredients that cost under five euro to prepare these three meals so um, when I was choosing what to buy um, I got I could show you the receipt so I have the mixed veggie and it cost oh it cost one euro 59 cents so this is quite pricey then I have the potatoes which is 35 cents and I also got a piece of orange I think it was like 33 cents and then this is just an apple and it cost 51 cents and in the grocery store I saw that they are selling noodles um, the exact noodles that I have at home and they sold it at like 2 euro but turns out I have like half the packet left so I decided not to buy it from the store but use it instead but of course I have to consider how much this costs as well so this is like 1 euro in my fridge we have like loads and loads of eggs and for my main meal I'm also using the egg but I decided not to buy a whole carton from the grocery store anymore but instead I decided to divide it by 10 so um, for one carton of egg it costs about 1 euro 60 cents but I'm only gonna be using two pieces so it's like 30, 30 cents for the egg so I'll just put the total cost of all the ingredients that I'm going to be using for this meal right here and let's get start cooking.
we decided to set a budget of five euro and, and we did prepare three different meals so it's like we had the appetizer uh, main meal and um, the dessert so it's like a full course meal and we bought the ingredients all under five euro yeah yeah it was really <laughs> tough for me to be very honest not so easy but i took the challenge and then i got a success one thing that i want to highlight is uh, in this five euro worth of ingredient list we're not including the price for the salt condiments and spices that you put in the meal yes. so yeah we have our own a full course meal for each other and we're gonna be trying it out yes and i think it is possible also like in five euros this finland is like yeah. damn expensive yes, euro place yes. but uh, i realized that you know it is possible if you really try you can cook at home for five euros Wow, we have like a lot of things to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a full meal, you know, for like in five euros. If you just think about it, it has everything. Yeah. Like if I tell you what you have done, so there are like chips, so there's a starter, and there are fruits, there are noodles, and same here. So it's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. I wish we had a movie here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. It would have been so much fun. Yeah, true. Should we start? Taking yes. In? Yes. So what do we have now? Let's start with the um, appetizer. Yeah. Yes. So I have these potato chips. Uh huh. Yeah. So I bought like I bought like three potatoes, and it was only thirty five cents. Yeah. It's the cheapest thing that I can think about. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. So what I did was I just like cut them with the I don't even know what it is called. You know the IKEA thing. Yeah. And I got like um, like a whole bowl full of potatoes, but yeah. then I didn't have time to cook everything, so I only got this amount. Yeah, yeah. But you should try it. Yes, I will definitely yeah. try them. Yes. Shall I take one? Yeah, without. Mm, they're good. Mm. Mm, they're nice. They're very crunchy. Yeah. I'm very nice. And you know something in India, we make them. Yes. Very common. Do you also do that in Burma? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> it is like my mom's like a quick meal. Yeah. So we usually eat it with some kind of soup, mm -hmm. like veggie soup. Okay. With this, yeah, it tastes really, really good. Yes. So right. I was trying to make it, and I haven't, I've never done this before. I was okay. like trying out my glass. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Some of them are still like not so properly cooked. Yeah, but that's but okay. Some of them are probably cooked. Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. Nice and crispy. Yeah. Yes. They just like we call them, you know, in Hindi we call them like potatoes alu. Mm. So it's alu. We call it alu as well. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. So it's like alu gobi. Yeah, alu gobi. Gobi like is curry. Yeah. The gobi is the cauliflower. Cauliflower. Yes. Do you also wow. call them gobi? Yes. Okay. That was <laughs> last time. That, that's a surprise, no? Actually, because it's a Hindi word. Yeah. There are a lot of Hindis in Myanmar. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Great. We're quite familiar with uh, Indian food, uh -huh. especially the Hindi like yeah. language. Yeah. There yeah. are also like Hindi. Temples. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now this is something what I have prepared. Mm -hmm. This is um, the nachos with cheese. Mm -hmm. I don't know how will the cheese now be because it, it had melted that time, but now and then there are some cucumbers and some tomatoes. Yeah, I'm going to try and then I can also share what is the price. That I yeah. For. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it become a little soggy. for about one euro and fifty cents. Mm. Yeah, they were the cheapest one which I found. And then uh, the cheese was about I think ninety five cents. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and the tomatoes were from the home and the tomatoes. Yeah, and this is uh, pickle. Yeah, uh, it's like pickle pickle. These are pickle pickle. The thing is, in pickle. Finnish it's called a swala kuk. Yes, right. Do you also get them in Burma? Yeah, you get them. Okay, because I, I in India, I have never seen them. This is a surprise for me. Yeah, yeah. Because we get uh, the pickles. We've got a lot of pickles in India, yeah. but these pickles are not the same. The ones there, we've got chilies like this. Yeah, 
I mean, good garlic like this. But we don't have cucumber like this. Okay. I think in Myanmar we pick all everything. Like cucumber, radish, mm. uh, carrots, and even these like mustard. Yeah. 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 Y
egg noodles. We usually had only vegetarian noodles. Okay. No eggs. Mm. Just veggies. Yeah. That's how things are changing. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna try this again. Yeah. Yes. So here's the dessert. It has clementine, apple, chili flakes, fish sauce, and honey. And I just mix it up. Do you want to try? Yes. Mm. This is a fruit chart. Yes, I yeah. have this word as well. What is it called? It's a fruit chart. Fruit chart. Chart. Okay. Now how do I express explain you that chart? I don't know, but then it's a fruit chart. It's nice. Yeah. Usually you would see this sort of like um, food on the street. Yeah. They, they yes. sell it by the street. Right. With a little stall. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you have a, that in India yeah, as well. Yeah, we have that in India. Okay. Yes. yes what yes. type of? Well, like I would really love to get like mango, mm -hmm. but mango is very pricey for this challenge so I have to get something fleshy which yeah. is apple yeah yeah that's good yes and mm. it's it's sweet also sometimes the problem is like when you have this on the road no sometimes the fruits are not so sweet mm. but it is nice yeah and the quality of fruits here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. all right so what we have now here is yogurt and um, uh, it also has some bananas so this is a I just thought a kind of a healthy thing the yogurt and um, some bananas so I just bought the ready-made yogurt which is the strawberry flavored one mm -hmm. and I've just added some bananas I wanted to add more fruits to it but then I was tight in budget so I couldn't get them yeah would you like to try this yes Let's check it yes mm. tastes like yogurt and bananas. yeah <laughs> all right do you have something like this no, I would say like faluda. Yeah, have you have faluda, okay. You have it too? Yes. Okay, that's nice. I really like faluda. Yeah. Yes. Have you seen it anywhere here in Finland? Getting faluda, no, right? Yeah. You have to do it yourself. Yeah. I haven't gotten around to it, but yeah. it would be nice to do it. Yeah. Very healthy taste. <laughs> We just finished eating our food. I'm gonna wrap up my video right here. Do make sure to check out Kabira's channel. She's also gonna be posting a video about our challenge as well. There's a video coming on my channel as well where we are gonna taste the food and a lot of things that are coming up on that. Yes. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and Kabira's channel as well. And see you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye! -bye. Bye, -bye.